excuse, the Bible speaks of how we're a spectacle to the world. He uses a word that refers to the scum on the bottom of a pot. And he says, that's how some people in the world will view you if you make much of a relationship with Jesus Christ in some parts of this world. He said, you have been made as the filth of the world. The filth of the world. First Corinthians 4, 13. You're the off-scouring of all things unto now. So the scum scraped from the dirty dishes or the garbage pit. That's how you are viewed. Now, let me, let, me, let me do a summation of the first nine verses and see if God spoke into your life like he did mine this week. I'm telling you, God really spoke to me in this. And then I'm going to dive in and talk about a few things in the last few minutes. In James chapter 1, especially in verses 1 through 11, let me tell you how it starts. Number 1, James begins his writing by a proper view of, him, a pop, a, a, a proper view of himself. He says, I'm a bondservant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, he could have said, I'm James, half-brother, elder of four to Jesus Christ. Apologist, Acts 15. Founder of the church in Jerusalem. He could have gone on and on, but no, he said, I, who are you? I'm a, I'm a bond servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Proper view of himself. Number two, compassion, burden for the scattered. He's a pastor, and a lot of his church members have been scattered all over creation, and he's burdened for them. Number three, in verses two through four, he gives an explanation of trials. He writes to him, and he says, if you're out there, you're going to be suffering, going through trials. Here's how you respond. Number five, or number four, he said in verse five, you're going to need wisdom to be able to look at this thing from God's perspective. And then, verse, this is so good, in verses 6 through 8, he said, guess what? When you go through these difficult times, you're going to go through seasons of doubt. Did you see it? He said, don't be like the, the man that's tossed on the wave. He's up, and then he's down. Uh, let that man think he's going to receive nothing. There's not one of us in here that hadn't gone through trials in our life, and we asked God to give us wisdom so we could understand what we were going through. But even though we felt we knew what we were going through, we all went through times of doubt. They were days we just said, I don't know anymore. If you've gone through a big trial, there's times you're bum-fuzzled. And then he came back and he said, but let me say this to you. You better get it now because you're all going to go through some tough times. Get a proper view of wealth. And then he came back in verse number 12 and said, let me tell you what you're going to do. Keep your focus on God's rewards. He said, you persevere. You hang in there. And when you get to heaven, God will approve you. He'll give you a crown of life. 